Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are going to Dreamscapes to go check out all their new exhibits. Today is their final day so it's a little sad, a little fun to finally go see it one more time before it moves to another location. So they're not stopping, they're just moving to a different location but I don't know if it's going to be here at the gateway. We first start off in the cabinet of curiosities so everything here is pretty much upcycled, recycled, future cycled, what they said so it's kind of cool so let's take a look around. I love this like little shelving of this random object notes. A little coconut man. It's so cool. And this whole piano is like growing. I love these picture frames that are like moving. They're so cool. It's, I think they're really neat. And then a bush as a fire. Also, can we just talk how there's a whole canoe up here? Just, you know, a full-size canoe with a whole bunch of papers around it. This little man right here. Also, but we were just talking about how creepy there, there's a little crab arm up there. S such weird little things right here. We're in a dream though, so this is just the start. Oh, big fish up there. Love that fish. And then over here is just like a little sitting area. Plants growing. Kind of cool. I love these cabinets, just full of like little creatures, even ornaments. All right, and then past the moon we go. And into a whole different room. And this one seems just very relaxing sitting area. This room's very relaxing. The whole room's just kind of moving. It's, kind of, it's very, you can tell Utah, like mountains and lakes and stuff. It's kind of cool. But it's just kind of cool to watch it grow up. I, I like the art, artist's interpretation on it. And that's where we, and that's where we entered. So something really cool about this, well, not cool at the same time. Today's their last day at this location. They said they're moving, but I'm kind of sad to see them go, but it is really cool to walk into this. They have these really cool pieces like metal artwork. I really like them. And then mirror area? Or umbrellas? Oh, that's really cool. There are little like pictures on that. That's super cool. Oh, it's like an affinity area. <laughs> that's really cool looking actually. It looks like it just goes on and on forever. Oh. This is a really cool exhibit. I, I like this one a lot. Alright, let's look in here. Oh, I, I am the flower. Oh, a little flower man. That's me. That's really cool. This is a really... I love their infinity mirror areas. These are so cool. Then more into mirror maze. This is so cool. I, I love their lighting on the ground though. I've seen this in all the other areas, but... Like, and they're... So we've seen this area in the last area, like in their last location. We've seen this area in the last location, but it is cool to watch the art kind of change. I do like it. Into more mirrors. And it's kind of weird, the last time we were here we had masks on, so it's kind of weird. It smells great in here. It has like a whole incense smelling. Last time I was in here, I thought this was a really cool exhibit. It was like this black and white. It looks like a mirror. So I think it's really fun. And then you have all these worlds around here above. Like there's the sun, and then there's the earth, and all these little origami cranes are stars. I think it's so cool. And then into a whole different world. They got so much like 3D mapping. Oh, under the sea. Oh, okay, so I think these little moon men that you see around will kind of tell you more about the story, the logs. So, we're just right by this giant fish. Then jellyfish, kind of recycling area. Ooh, this one's so cool. This is like a really cool, like, it looks like it's underwater, like bubbly. It's really cool, I actually like it. And then I can't quite tell what this is supposed to be, but there's a whole bunch of different fish in it. A little disco ball, but yeah, this is cool. 
And then they have their strange creature area, which I absolutely love. Even a little bench that is, looks like it's from church. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of a cool, oh, this has like really nice lighting, like a cool background. I like that. Yeah, you can kind of see like all the different things behind you. All fake plants, which I think they're all recycled, so that's really cool. And the lighting looks really good. Yeah, just cool monsters and creatures all around every corner. And here are some of my favorite things. They sell stuff at Amel, so these, I would buy them. <gasps> There's little babies as the flowers. That's so cool. <laughs> like little creatures are hidden in every little spot. So, very cool. And then we have more story right here. Let's see if I can get that. I'll let you guys read it if you want to try to catch up with the story. Oh, there's like this cool bird with like, like light bulb eyes. That's so cool looking. Oh, there's a couple creatures like that around here. Those are really unique. And these look like all the old dreams from the last location. I wonder what we're going to. Oh, welcome to the Root Network. Oh, these are all roots to a giant creature and, ooh. There's kind of a fun photo off right here with these owls. There's even like cool creatures flying above you. It's kind of like all black and white in here. So, I think all of the, these are from customers who came here. So, it's really cool. And there's a little, oh, the snail. Careful, don't let it touch you. And here we got a glowing frog. Really cool, just black light area. So these are all ran by different people and I just put mine right there. So that's so cool. That's all different people walking through here and putting different parts on the roots. That's so cool. Also giant worm and mushrooms. And it just keeps going on and on and on full of mushrooms. They have even more of those like little areas you can look into. It's like a little cave system. I don't even know how this will turn up on camera, but this is just a big area of like glowing lights. It just feels like it goes on for ever and ever. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Oh, it's very deep. Yeah, I know that, that there's the exit. That's very deep. Oh, that's like the worst feeling. That was the worst feeling. And then, also, um, just giant bugs made out of tin foil and glowing lights. Those are so cool looking. Oh, more frogs and crystals. And this is one of my favorite art pieces. I don't know why, but I just think he's so cool looking. And we're getting more into a glass cavern with scary dinosaurs. <laughs> there he is. I like that these are all just like bubble wands for crystals. Oh, and these rocks are talking. So these rocks are talking in their story. Hmm. That's really cool. A little moon man. And now he's just around, leaving oh. And to another caves of uh, like lava and molten. Oh, this one's cool. This is so pink and like happy feeling. Also kind of looks like a monster from like far away. It has like big teeth. I like it. A little bit more story fountain. Yeah, this used to be an amber crying fish as you can tell. But there's like a phoenix and even like a cool twisty thing. Like that's really cool looking out. It's really three-dimensional almost. Also, can we just talk about how this comes me out of dreamscape papers? Recycling and recycling your place. Then there's a giant dragon going through this whole area. And then they have all these dressing rooms that, this one looks like it's in space. So that's cool. It's a little space station. Also, I found more story in here while I was looking in this bee room, which has a whole bunch of honeycombs and bees all throughout it. 
And they have this really cool art exhibit where they have buttons throughout the room that would like interact with stuff. I don't know where that one, yeah, like all, the monkey would move and stuff. I don't know if what's active and what's not active. So, but it's cool looking. It looks like a, like almost a ship with a whole bunch of crates and stuff. It's kind of cool. A little moon face. It says there's some information here. Oh, there he is. So, there's more story. And then you just have clouds, like rainy cloud room. And then this room full of gears, there's some right there. I like that, that's like, that's really interesting looking. Like I said, I like the, all these clocks. I was just looking around and I found a box full of letters. <laughs> okay. And then like a train station, like a diorama. And then even more story. It's kind of cool just to walk, like you're just walking around and you just see just like different areas. Also, the first room, here's some more story. I didn't even see it, there it is. <laughs> and there's more creatures walking around. Whoa, that's a lot of information right there. And in this last room where it's like completely white after getting in such a dark area, like that's such a cool like looking picture right there. And then there's like this even cool like flowers. That's so cool. Yeah, very flower based, very white and clean looking. <laughs> But if you can hear it, the story, pretty much he finds his girl, he lost her, and now they're trying to find them. Can we open this? Oh. <laughs> That's the speaker, don't, don't look in there. <laughs> Man, that like, I like that you can just walk by and they have like just art pieces everywhere. So cool, even a can shooting the little squishy things. So I think we're going to end it here where we started here. So that was so fun walking through Dreamscapes. Um, I knew I heard him put like a little clip in here. I also kind of explained the story of what was going through there, but it was so cool. I really enjoyed it. Super fun. Can't wait to see what they do with their new location. See if they have new story, new stuff throughout it, and new artists, which I hope they do, which I'm pretty sure they will. But it was super fun. So thank you guys for joining us, and we'll see where we're excited to run Wander next.